This lady actually taught me how to grow my own herbs, how to make my own echinacea, how to um, extract the life force out of plants, and it just kind of became a hobby. So what I did was, <clears throat> I moved back to Indianapolis in uh, 2001 and I decided to start my practice in Broad Ripple and practice with massage therapy. And while I was massaging, I was making oils um, for myself. And being that, you know, when you're massaging somebody and you're in that close um, uh, corners with somebody, they obviously can smell your scent. So, they uh, started asking what I was wearing, and from there, I started making it for them. And that's kind of how it started in the bathroom. I would have my oils in the bathroom, and I would go in there and pour my, my um, concoction. It was one product at the time. I would handwrite the label, and I would bring it out and give it to them. So what happened was, which I was not expecting, um, which ended up being a dream, is these clients started asking me to make it for their friends and family. And so I, that's what I was doing, still handwriting the label, still blending it. This time I decided I needed to get out of the bathroom and move it to the basement <laughs> at the time. So I actually had a, a, just a fold out table, I had all my oils, um, and I would make products for my clients and for their fa family and friends and handwrite the labels and, and give it to them. So. In 2003, there is a local boutique, I'm sure many of you have heard of, called Uber, and they're on College in Kessler. I don't know if anybody's heard of this boutique. If not, I highly recommend going in there. Um, in 2003, I got a phone call, and the owner, Heidi, <clears throat> asked that I, um, if she could pick up the product. Um, and I, at the time, you know, being that I'm handwriting these labels and doing it at the time, I didn't, I didn't think she understood what, what this was, that I'm not really a business, that I really don't have anything professional going on with that. So I quickly was like, I have something here, I need to do something about this. And um, I, I like to say I kind of got started backwards, I kind of, instead of going out there and putting money into marketing and, and hiring somebody to build a website and to do all that, I kind of took on all that as the as the business grew so what I'm trying to say is she picked up the product line it was it was just a couple products at the time this was in 2003 other stores started going in there and seeing what the product was and smelling it on other people and then they wanted to pick it up that was in 2003 and from there just a couple years later it went in, it went from one store in Indiana to I think 12.